Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, today we're having a swatch video. I haven't done one of these in a long time. I have every single lip liner and lipstick from the brand new Rare Beauty collection. And I'm gonna go ahead and not only swatch them side by side on like my hands and my arms, but I'm also going to swatch every single combination on my lips for you guys. My lips are not gonna be happy with me, but I'm gonna do it for you guys. And just show you guys uh, all the shades and of course the formula and let you know if it's worth your money. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, you know what to do. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so let's get started really quickly just in case it's a distraction. Um, I broke two nails, so I'm not flipping you guys off. It just kind of looks like it. These are my real nails, and of course, I literally, um, I broke two of them. So yeah, sorry about that. I will redo them tonight. But let's get into it. Like I mentioned, I do have every single shade. I am lucky enough to be in the Rare Beauty PR list, but I will never, ever, ever be dishonest with you guys just because I'm in a PR list. I do have a pamphlet, so I'm gonna go ahead and read it, maybe put some things that might be helpful here, and then we'll get into the swatching. So these are both new products, both the lip liner and the lipstick. So let's go ahead and look at the lip liner really quickly. So this is called the Kind Words Matte Lip Liner. It is $15 and it is supposed to be a smooth glide, ultra creamy matte color, waterproof, and it is complete with a built-in sharpener. They do have 10 different shades. And moving on to the lipstick, these are called the Kind Words Matte Lipstick. It is $20. They're supposed to be high pigmented, one swipe color, cushiony and comfortable all day wear, weightless with a soft matte finish. So $15 and $20, they're both supposed to be matte very excited about that and yeah I guess the rest is just a really nice big pamphlet of a lot of beautiful women oh my god look at Selena sometimes when I get these PR packages I feel like I'm getting like a poster for my bedroom like when I was younger okay, so let's quickly talk about the components so this is what the lip liners look like. I really like the packaging. So it is the kind of lip pencil that you don't really sharpen with a normal sharpener. So at the end of the lip liners, you can pop this out and it does have like a little sharpener for the formula, but um, to actually just bring it up, you just twist it and it goes up. So I really like that because you don't need to truly sharpen it, but if you do wanna make it um, more of a pointed look, you can use the built-in sharpener. So very, very cool. And this is the component for the lipstick. So this is actually really cool because it's one of those products that you just push and then you take out. That is not only fun, but also um, that's really good whenever you have this like in your makeup bag or in your purse. It's not gonna pop off because you do have to push it first, then pop it out and this is what the bullet looks like. Something else that I really like is that it does have a flat surface, so you can just put it on your vanity flat. So very, very cool, very exciting. It seems like they do have a good range from light to dark. Some of these shades might be too light for me. I don't know, we will see, but let's go ahead and get the swatching party started.
Alrighty guys, I am back. As most of you guys noticed, uh, most of those shades didn't work for me. I just didn't think they were flattering. I do have all the swatches and I will be showing you guys. Actually, what I want to show you guys right now. So here are the swatches for all the lip liners from lightest to darkest. Just the order that they put them in. As most of you guys can see, all the lighter shades are very, very pink. And then the darker shades are more plummy, brown, or reddish. And then here are all of the lipsticks. I feel like here you can definitely see how pink really this collection is. Now, I'm definitely not hating on it. I do think um, all the pinks are really pretty. I wish it was a little bit more neutral or I wish um, there was maybe more warm tones or brownie tones, especially in those lighter shades. I'm a little bit tan right now for sure. Like I definitely have a tan going on. So if you're my skin tone or darker, I feel like you're probably gonna like the last five more rather than the first five usually I can kind of get away with using some of lighter shades of lipsticks um, but it really comes down to a lip liner so if you do like some of these lip shades but you think they might be a little bit too light for you just use a darker lip liner you don't have to pair the lip liners together so here's actually a combination that I ended up liking I wanted to kind of combine some shades together to create like my own little cocktails with this other lipstick and this creates more of like a light cool tone pinky nude for my skin tone safe to say that my favorite lip liner was definitely wise it's a really really beautiful um, like warm brownie maybe a little purpley shade and then I use this lipstick to create this beautiful shade this is definitely a darker nude but I love a good like darker nude I feel like on camera it looks a little bit more red but in person it's definitely more um, cool tony purpley so it's very interesting I will say something else that I did notice I do like the shade bold it's not that bold actually which is why I like it it's a little bit more of a toned down red so I do think it's a very easy red that will look good on a lot of people that's not very intimidating I do think that the lip liners are very very creamy in a great way because sometimes they're too creamy sometimes lip liners can be too creamy to where maybe they're not like stiff enough to give you that shape that you want these are stiff enough to like overline but they're actually creamy enough to where you can actually use it as a lipstick by itself and i love how you can twist it up and you can sharpen it and then the lipsticks are very very creamy but they are a true like matte obviously there might be like a tad bit of shine on them but it's what keeps them nice and creamy, but they are matte and I really like that they're not drying so far My lips are completely fine after swatching all ten of them really actually enjoyed this collection again If there's something that I would change is just to replace some of the pinky tones with more brown or neutral um, Or warm tones, but other than that um, All of the lip colors went on really beautifully the lip liners are nice the lipsticks are nice I love rare beauty and this is definitely a win in my book So let me know what y'all's favorite shade is and let me know down below if you are thinking about purchasing this product or not but yeah I hope that this video was helpful um, let me know what you guys want to see next I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video bye